once on the pitch. The rivalry here is real. And, uh, although there aren't too many of the FA Cup winning 11 from last May in the Chelsea lineup tonight, there are plenty who felt the pain for Manchester United. Team news for you. Well, Chelsea held back the likes of Rudiger, Alonso, Conte, Hazard, and Higuain in Malmo on Thursday. They all start tonight. But only five of this 11 began the FA Cup final in May. The most recent acquisition, Gonzalo Higuain, made his Chelsea debut in the fourth round of this competition in that win over Sheffield Wednesday. Sergio Romero, United's second string goalkeeper, retains his place in this competition. Defender Chris Smalling plays for only the second time in the first team since early December, otherwise pretty much at full strength, except for the absence of both Jesse Lingard and Anthony Martial, who had muscle strains before half-time in their Champions League game last Tuesday against PSG. Their places go to two former Chelsea players, Juan Mata and Romelu Lukaku. Well, sir, Alex Ferguson, you feel, is a little bit closer to what goes on in the dressing room these days. Here, of course, is a man who's very close to what's happening in the international scene. Gareth Southgate, the England manager, with his assistant now, the former Chelsea assistant, Steve Holland. So here we are with David Luiz. He will think within range of his... Uh, special technique he uses the inside of the foot somehow rolls his foot over the top of the ball that gets that dip and swirl on it there it is fired away by Romero back to Pedro goalkeeper does well again does very well because it's not even a corner he's held it the right side of the line from his point of view at the second attempt well let's Talk about the strikes as well. The first one from David Luiz was dipping and swerving, which made it difficult for the goalkeeper. And Pedro did really well to keep that down with power. The goalkeeper, you said it beforehand, 96 caps. He went with his fists on that occasion. It wasn't the greatest of saves, but this one was good to grab hold of it the second time. Hit with power. Here's Marcus Alonso. Sharp turn from Hazard. Quick wits as well as quick feet. Kovacic. That's Quetta stepping in. Kovacic. Azza. Trying to whip it. It was a lovely setup from Marcus Alonso, who's never shy to go in. Been an auxiliary attacker there, and that was worked beautifully. Well, he'd started it off by running on diagonally with the ball. That's what Adam Hazard loves to do play the ball into a centre forward or anybody that's in there and then follow his pass. And Herrera able to line one up and it's parried away by Marisa Balaga. Here's the shot from Herrera. Cuts across it, it's a nice height, as you said. And it's the obvious bend on the ball. Sets himself, gets two hands to it. Comfortable save. Hey. Look at that, didn't think Jorginho committed a foul. The United fans didn't perhaps agree with that, but here's Hazard. Smalling got a bit of the ball, which was imperative in that situation. Kovacic, Chelsea's starting to get their attacking play into the groove. That's for Liqueta. Higuain! Not picked up, not on target. There's the switch of play. Pogba's tucked in, so is Herrera. Rashford and Lukaku don't want to go all the way back, or not been asked to go all the way back, so as Billy Quater can come onto the ball, pick out that cross, which he did from Arata on many occasions over the last season and a half. Higuain making the right run, he should really get that on target. Oliver Solskjaer knows he has the 
the full backing of those in the higher echelons of the club, should we put it like that? But of course, he doesn't know whether that's going to lead to keeping the job at the end of the season. Oh, and that's for the Quetta, um, uh, Arisa Balaga, rather. And the back pass just. Well, it was almost suicidal, but Chelsea survived. Our thoughts, of course, are with the friends and family of uh, Gordon Banks, the greatest goalkeepers that football's ever seen. And I'm not sure on the pitches that he used to play on, this kind of approach from the back would have worked for the great man. Matter. And again. Rashford's in the middle, Pogba's on the ball. And a late run from Herrera! <laughs> Manchester United strike first. And the player who was sent off in his last FA Cup game here has a different emotion here, the thrill of scoring the opening goal for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's Manchester United. Well, the two players, I said, had really difficult roles in the side today, create the goal. First of all, Pogba down the left-hand side. He can manipulate the ball so well to buy himself that little bit of time. And once he got it back onto his right foot, Herrera can just run unmarked forward. He's not been picked up here, but now he starts to see the danger. It's a good combination over on that far side, certainly not offside when Pogba receives the ball. Herrera, Rashford takes Alonso in. He should pass him on to David Luiz. They don't communicate and suddenly... Herrera's round the back, and it's a good header as well. Back across the goalkeeper. What a goal from Match United's point of view. It's a little bit of a throwback for Ander Herrera, who has been more of a spoiling player, really, in his time at Manchester United, but actually his pedigree as a young player in Spain was as a goal-getting midfield player, goals just like that one. And again, you have to question the defensive understanding of Alonso and David Luiz. As soon as... Rashford makes the run across Alonso. He's got to pass him on to David Luiz. They both went with him. Herrera comes round the back. Find themselves 1 0 down. Oh, and that uh, dips over Romero. Pedro saying it was deflected. I'm not sure he was calm when this ball started to go over the top of his head. Meant to be a cross. It's hard to be in his mouth there for a moment. On by Rashford. And Rashford found by Pogba. Pogba arriving in the middle. Here he goes! Paul Pogba! 2 0 Manchester United. The power on the header, too much for the keeper. And Manchester United are going to go in at half-time here at Stamford Bridge. Two goals to the good. Well, I would say there's the weakness of Chelsea. We've said it all season. If you can get in behind Alonso and down the side of David Luiz, they're not good defensive players, in my view. There's a little flick on. David Luiz heads it into midfield. The recovery run from Alonso is not quick enough. The recovery run from David Luiz is straight back towards... Well, he's going straight in the straight line. He's got to get out and get the block in, and it allows Rashford to pick out the cross. Yes, they don't defend it well there, but what a good header from Pogba. He wanted it more than Azpilicueta, and he got in behind Rudiger. Could the goalkeeper have done better? Maybe so. What a goal for Match United. From the man who is their top scorer. Paul Pogba takes his tally to 14 for the season. Pedro, Conte. That's it, that could be it for Matic. Could be it. Well, the crowd want that. Aspilicueta wants that. And uh, Maurizio Sarri wants that. It's a big call for the referee. Ashley Young there trying to act as his barrister, if you like. It's late, it's sloppy. It would be a yellow card if you haven't had one already. Yep. 
if he doesn't get booked here, the first thing that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer should do is take him off. He's got to take him off. Consolation goal, it will be no more than that, and uh, Romero has the final touch. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer sees his team get into the quarterfinals, avenge the club's defeat to Chelsea in the final itself last season, and bounce back from their defeat to PSG in the Champions League last week. The test of the team, it was said, would be when they do lose, how would they recover? They recovered well, goals from Ander Herrera made by Pogba, Pogba gets the second made by Rashford, and it's all smiles for Solskjaer and his team. Chelsea never really, having conceded the first goal, looked like finding a way back into it. Lots of possession, but as has been the way under Maurizio Sarri, not goals to come with it. And their current slump, if I can call it that, continues. They've got a Europa League game here on Thursday, then it's the League Cup final. So they've got plenty to pick themselves up for, but they're out of the FA Cup, the holders. Chelsea nil, Manchester United two.